Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Christy Hickey with Magic Mix and we're going to play in the pink today. Yay! Fluid Art Thursday. And playing in the paint is so much more fun than trying to figure out technology and trying to do something when it won't let you to do it. So <laughs> it was really funny yesterday. I tried to upload a video to Magic Mix and it just wouldn't take it. And I was like, I tried again and again and again and again and would, and would almost get there by about that much and then it would stop. I was like, I can't believe this. And this morning I read that Instagram and Facebook were down yesterday. So it's like, oh, okay. It wasn't my fault after all. <laughs> so... I have an 11 by 16 canvas here today and we're going to put push pins in the back and this is real easy if you go for the little angles the little crease if you go there and put your push pins in it they go in a lot easier and make sure your canvas is tight sounds like a drum okay so I'm going to put those in real quick. Hope everybody's doing well. I did this little technique quite some time ago, and it's so much fun. And we've been doing it in the classes that I've teach that I have taught um, here lately, using the blow dryer. And yes, it does spread the paint everywhere, but it's so much fun watching it and the colors form and everything. So let me turn this down. There you go. And we have your push pins in. I'm going to turn it over. Make sure it's level. And it is. Uh, that might be a little, let me turn it over, push these in a little bit. There, okay. Now it's level. Hey, Joan Lee, how are you today? It's beautiful here in Florida. Tony's join us. Hi, Tony. Good to see you. It is. It is absolutely gorgeous. It must be like, what, 70 degrees outside? And it's a gentle wind. The sun is shining. The sky is blue, blue, blue. All the birds are chirping. It is really a beautiful day here in Florida. I wish the whole world could have it. So... Let's get started. This is an 11 by 16, and I have our white base that I'll be using. This only has the craft paint and Floetrol. It's a 50 50 mix. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bright yellow, and that is also an apple barrel paint craft with Floetrol 5050. It does have a little bit of silicone in it because it's pre-mixed in this bottle. Have another apple bar barrel red 5050. 50. 50 paint, 50 Floetrol and the bright blue. And it's also a craft so 5050 on that recipe as well. This is the silicone that I use. It was in the automotive department. I've always had good luck with it, so I've not tried anything else. And I've had this for about a year and a half, and it's not even halfway empty. So oh, there's a lot of other artists out there that use different things. 
different types of silicone. There's a hair conditioner. There's um, treadmill silicone. It's drops. I've heard that you get really good success with that. Hey, Amanda. This is the Floetrol, and it's available in a quart or gallon. This is a gallon. Runs about $14 to $15. Your quart is going to be around seven to eight. Your better buy is the gallon. Just make sure that it says latex, okay? They make it for oil also. This is a paint conditioner. Painters use it to help level out the paint to hide brush strokes. And that's what, what, why we're using it, plus it keeps your paint wet longer if that makes sense it levels everything out hides your brush strokes very good product for what we're doing here there's other recipes out there that um some people use elmer's glue some people use mod posh um there's all kinds of recipes out there I played with this stuff for two months and watching a lot of different artists and the closest one that I came up with is um, by another artist that I follow, Sandra Lett, <clears throat> excuse me, and her recipe is almost the same too. She uses different kinds of silicone though. So what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to put the base down and then I'm going to create a dirty cup pour. <laughs> Paint's talking back to me today. And we're going to flip it and then take the blow dryer and blow it everywhere. But I'm going to go a little step further and do what they call a paint bomb and I'll show you that technique when we get there it's real easy it's just um, creates the ability for the paint to slide easier and it adds some white to our colors and I think I'm going to pour I'm going to do the dirty pour over here in this corner, so I'm not going to load up on this white over here. This little plastic spreader, uh, you can pick them up at the big box store for a couple of dollars. They come in a set of three, and I've always had really good luck with this. Every now and then you'll get one that has kind of a rough edge here and when you do just take a little bit of fine sandpaper and sand it down a little bit it doesn't take a lot of pressure I'm going to get these sides good that way our paint will run off I'm going to give a class tomorrow at um, Amelia Makery here in front of Dina. She is next to Scott and Sons Jewelry on 8th Street. I moved the location. I uh, had to make that decision just a few minutes ago, a couple of hours ago, I should say. And um, But the class is going to start at 11 and go till one o'clock so if you're interested I'd love for you to head on over there give me a call get in touch with me through Facebook and I'll reserve a chair for you okay that is done now let's get to the fun part right and we're going to mix our colors looks like that camera maybe I can make it go down a little bit further there. Yeah, you have more table. You can see more table. All right, I'm going to layer the paints. I'm going to shake them up real good. I think I'll put the yellow 
in between the red and the blue. This ought to be pretty interesting. Even though it's um, primary colors, I'm hoping that when I dump them out and start spreading the paint everywhere, we'll have some green and we'll have some purple and orange, all those other colors that the primaries make. So I'm just going to layer it and I'm not creating a lot of pressure on this paint to come out, okay? Because I want it to stay on top of each other. And if I squeeze it too hard, it'll float to the bottom. And as you can see, it's about a quarter of an inch of color. All right, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go with the red. Getting kind of full. And the yellow. And the blue. And my cup almost runneth over. <laughs> okay, this is going to be interesting. That cup's pretty full. I've got to decide if I want to flip the canvas or do I just want to flip the cup and take the chance of spilling it. Pick up a wet canvas. Let's see. I think I will. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to put the canvas on top of the cup and flip both of them over. There's something in the paint. So, we'll move this over here. And put this right here. Okay. Now, with this... One hand, I'm going to hold on top of the canvas where the cup is. And the other hand, I'm going to pick up the cup. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. So it's kind of sandwiched. The canvas is sandwiched in between. And we're going to flip. Yay! It did it. No spilled paint. And let that set for a minute. Let the paint get a chance to slide down a little bit. It's kind of pretty, isn't it? The red, yellow, and the blue. Okay, let's pick her up. Kind of pulsating. <laughs> That's pretty. That's very pretty. Okay, I have the blow dryer hooked up. It's gonna make some noise. And real quick, this is the paint bomb. I am pushing or pouring out some extra white paint. All right, and what I'm gonna do is Scoop it on top of this, like this. Good, there we go. Now, important when you're doing the blow dryer, make sure you have it on the cool setting. Because if you don't, and it blows hot, 
your paint will start like flaking drying so you don't want that just make sure you keep it on the cool setting and here we go So we have a lot of different colors here. We sure do. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. Crease this up. I really don't want it to go too far over. Y'all, can y'all get a good picture of that? That's this is really pretty. I'm gonna pick it up and take it to the the camera. I can't tilt it though; <laughs> all the paint will come off. But I do want you to see how pretty that is. It has a lot of different colors, and. We got some cell action going on, which is fine. I'm just wondering where my straw is, because I kind of, I kind of would like to. Let's see. Move this over a little bit more. Put that on low. bomb hey Shelly isn't that beautiful I think you were um, you came in after I flipped the cup Let's see I've got a couple of vacant corners and when you have this you want to get at least a little bit of the color that is close to it and just scoop it up and put it on there so you'll be in the same family of color and it won't look too out of place there I have one over here not the same Yeah, it gave us a lot of different colors, just using, of course, the red, yellow, and the blue. We have purple, green, orange, all the colors. Sometimes, I've noticed that um, sometimes the red has a tendency to sink because the pigment is so heavy that color is hard to work with so we have vacant spot over here I'm just scooping it up and let it pour on I 
Yeah. I think we're all covered. Yep. All covered. Hey, hi, Racy. So, almost want to do another one. That was so much fun. <laughs> I could put this one over on the table and we could do another one. The inside of the cup sure is pretty too. Let's see if you can see that. It's pretty. Kind of looks like an American tie dye. Let's see. I have some smaller canvases just perfect for this it is fun no I didn't paint the shirt the shirt is um, one of my oldies but goodies it's too comfortable and cute to get rid of so it's my favorite paint shirt I really appreciate y'all joining in. Um, if you want to hang out with me for a few more minutes, I'm going to move this to the drawing table and bring back a couple of more canvases. And we'll do a couple more with just maybe some different colors. So I'll be back in five seconds. How's that? Five seconds. Okay, these little canvases are so cute. They're six by eight inches, and I got them from the Dollar Tree. I've not used any of them yet, so let's open it up and see the quality of it. And these little canvases are perfect for just playing around. We have um, a group. Be good for kids. Let's see, I have four of them here. They feel pretty good. So yeah, they're real tight. They're not loose. Um, the back could have been cut better, but, you know, it's probably machine mass produced, so you can't expect perfection. So that's three. And I think what I'm going to do is let's do a grouping of four since they're so small. That would be fun. We'll do a grouping of four. And we'll try to do one paint bomb. Put down some more aluminum foil. Are y'all having a pretty day down there, Shelly? I hope so. I hope everybody's having a beautiful day. Let's see. Let's put this here, too. There. Okay. That one was so much fun. It didn't take any time.
this is not going to take long at all. The, um, <laughs> the wood's hard. Branch that. But I don't have a hammer handy. Okay, so there's one. Who else has joined us? I need to scroll down. Wendy and Sunny? No, I can't hear y'all. I um I have to read what you're putting into the chat box. I wish I could hear y'all. That would be fun. We could do a live um Scott, Skype call. I wonder if that would be possible. You know, kind of like a conference. Oh, I would love to, Shelly. That would be fun. I've got um, an appointment tomorrow that I'm real excited about. I'm not going to say anything right now, but hopefully this will be really good. Man. These things are hard for a dollar. <laughs> they use some really good wood. Okay, there's two. <laughs> I'm going to move them closer together too, I think. We'll try to um, have like a sequence. Four in a set. <clears throat> okay. Trying to find that crease. See if that's even. Yep. Okay. So that's my idea. I'm going to put these four together and we'll do a paint bomb on one and spread it all out and hopefully have a set that's complementary to each other. That didn't take very long at all. I think it's taken longer to put these push pins in than it is to do the paint. Who would have thought? Yeah, I was trying to do create an event a while ago on my phone and normally I do not have any problems with it whatsoever and it was just like not create creating nor doing what I wanted it to do it was very frustrating okay so here's our four and I'm going to put white on all of it <laughs> yes, you do too, Racy. You need more paintings. Everybody needs more paintings. What we could do, Shelly, is have a paint party at your house. And what you create, we could hang on the wall. That would be fun. <laughs> I can hear Racy now. Okay. Let's 
see here. If you haven't checked out the Fluid Art Convention website, please do. There's, uh, I checked on it the other day. There's still rooms available that you can get for special pricing at the um, Holiday Inn Crown Plaza. There's going to be raffles. You don't have to be present to win, okay? And there's 13 art instructors that will be teaching numerous types of fluid art. Some of them haven't even been out there very long. So please take a look at it. It's www.pouringartist. That's plural. Okay. So in Orlando, starting August the 30th, runs through September 2nd. Going to be a good time. I'm not going to worry about the edges. Not right now. Okay, let's put this together. There. And let's see. This cup is larger than what we had before, but I think it'll be okay. I don't have one the same size, or do I? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Just wondering if I should do this one. Let's go with the bigger cup. See, all these decisions. Okay. Um, we could do another one of the primary colors. That would be fun. And that way it could all be together. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do another one of the primary colors. That turned out so pretty. So I'm going to start with... Um, I'm going to make sure that y'all can see. Hey, Matt Singh. I would love to come teach. I would love to teach everywhere. Wouldn't that be just the bomb, right? You could um, travel the world teaching. That would be so much fun. All right, here we go. We're going to start with red. You get moved into that house yet, Maxine? I hope so. I'm sure you probably need a vacation. Thanks for stopping in. Okay, here's the yellow. I'll be mixing up some more paint for tomorrow's class. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, here's some more red. And the yellow. I'm not doing it as thick as I did the first time because I think I want to do a lot of layering in this big cup. Okay, so I'm just concentrating on covering the last color. And the yellow. And the blue. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Might end up getting paint splattered everywhere. Here we go. Let's see, I am going to protect the keyboard. Put this piece of fabric on here. Okay. And I'm 
get the blow dryer ready. And I think I'm going to pour it on this one and blow that way. So we'll pick this up, take our cup. canvas on top of it. This is a little bit easier to grab a hold of. The other one, the other cup was so small. All right, you see how I've got it? Kind of sandwiched in and we're going to flip it. There we go. Put it back in place. I want these together as close as I possibly can. They, I do see that they're not exactly straight, okay? So there's a little gap in between, and hopefully I, the blow dryer will blow it hard enough to jump onto the other canvases. Well, I have a cup of coffee sitting over here, and a bug has gotten in it. And I, let's see, I'm going to pour some white, some more white, so I can flip it on top. Here it goes. One, two, three. Woo! And I don't want all that to go over there, so I'm going to scrape this on top. Okay, canvas is straight again. Okay, here we go with the blower. Wow, I had to um, I had to start watching this because it started getting muddy in the colors. Let's see. That's pretty though. That's very pretty. I wonder if I can squeeze out some more color by blowing through a straw. Hmm. So with that white underneath, that's what's popping up. And I would really rather have more color like this. But 
I think I'm just going to leave it alone. Turned out really pretty. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed that. That was fun. So you're in your new home, Maxine? That is awesome. I wondered why I hadn't seen much of you or heard much from you. But anyway, I'm sure you're probably ready for a vacation. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. Really appreciate that. Go get you some paint and play. Get you some balloons, some strainers, some hair dryers, right? You never know. Spring break is coming up for uh, a lot of the schools around here. It'd be a good thing to do with the kids. <laughs> yes, you're ready for a vacation on the beach. Come on over. <laughs> I'm sure both you and Harvey are ready for a vacation. But thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. I'll see you Tuesday, if not before, for Crafty Tuesday next week. And if you want to become a member of Magic Mix, please do so. You'll get notified when um, the videos are coming up, and you can participate as well. So. Hugs, everybody. I'll see you next week.